How many of you guys have gone to the App Store on your Android or iOS device looking for a new video editor? I can tell you I've done that myself and there's so many video editors to choose from. It's downright overwhelming to be honest. That's why I've already gone through the trouble of testing a whole bunch of these video editors out to showcase to you guys today the top free video editing apps for iPhone and Android devices. That also means these apps are gonna be feature packed, easy to use, and most importantly, honestly, no watermark. Jumping into the first mobile editor is Filmmaker Pro. When you create a new project, you can easily set the aspect ratio and select the clips that fit within that ratio on your single format timeline. If you wanna add music, this app makes it super easy by just selecting the audio button and then importing from either your iTunes library or the storage off of your phone and iCloud. You'll also have a nice free selection of color grading and filter options. One of the features I really like about this app is the scrub option so you can select that by just going to the right hand side and this will allow you to specify where you want to be in a certain part of the clip to make it easier for trimming and clipping lining up music you might have added maybe a face cam reaction some things I don't like about this app is that without the premium version you're stuck at a four project limit you can't use the Ken Burns or keyframing effects animated stickers, or even exporting in 4K. Out of all the apps I show you in this video, this one has the most simplistic free features, so that may not be a deal breaker for everybody, especially if you're doing shorts or TikToks, but this may not be ideal if you're trying to do long form YouTube videos. The next mobile video editor I have to show you is VN Editor. This video editor has no time restrictions for the length of your video. When you're in the app, you can easily see all of the features of this application for editing your clips right at the bottom from being able to crop, mirror, add a filter, adjust the speed of the clip, splitting the clip, adding effects to the clip. Now, although this editor has a multi-track timeline, it is super easy to use. If you look at the top, that's where your music or your audio tracks are gonna go. You can also add a text track in addition to a picture in picture option. You can use that with a picture or you can use it as a video. For those of you guys that love creating montages, this app has some six speed ramping effects that you can easily apply directly to your clip. I love the vast selection of text that you can add to your timeline and some of them are animated too and they look really cool. If you wanna stick with the animation route, you can also add stickers even in the form of a GIF powered by Giphy to your timeline. So search up whatever you want and then just add it on in. The options are endless. One of the really cool features that the VN app has that you normally wouldn't get out of any other video editing app is the ability to keyframe. This allows you to create cool zooming in and out effects. So to do this, all you need to do is select your clip, select the keyframe button to begin the effect, then move your player head to where you want the motion to finish, select the keyframe option again, and position your video clip for how you want the motion to end. In addition to creating keyframe animations, you can also capture a freeze frame, as well as export up to 4K at 60 FPS. That's just beautiful. The next video editor on this list is CapCut. This video editor has a lot of similarities to the VN app. Both apps have a video editing tutorial library within their apps to help get you started. With CapCut, you'll have an unlimited number of projects you can create and you can keyframe easily within this app just by selecting your clip and pressing the diamond icon on the right side and then just reposition your clip just like in the VN editor app. You'll find a bunch of different filters and color grading options that you can add on top of your video. You'll also find a whole bunch of fonts that are fun and also animated to add over your video. And they even have a trending stickers page that they update quite frequently to keep up to date with popular graphics that you can put within your project. The music library in this app is so vast for being free, but that's not even the thing that impressed me the most. I really love that you could use a video with a picture in picture feature and enable the AI background removal tool to make a cutout of yourself over your clip. So if you're ever wondering how people do this in their videos without a green screen, this is how they do it. CapCut will also allow you to export in 4K 60 FPS. Up next, we have VLLO. You can probably tell that this app is a powerful one. You can do keyframe animations. You can add very clean transitions. You can export up to 4K at 60 FPS using this app. And I love the fact that they have a whole tutorial library for how to use this app. Similar to the VN editor, you can see all of your audio waves across your entire project timeline. There's also a nice selection of stock graphic footage you can look through to add to your project. 
Now, as nice as this application is, there are some cons here. A couple of those being that picture in picture, access to all the super cool transitions and massive royalty free music library. Those features are not free. Those are in the paid version. Also the textiles within this app look to be a bit dated. So that's something else to keep in mind if you like to use text. Keep a lookout at the end of 2022 because one of the best video editors that we know and love on the computer is coming to iPad OS. That's right, DaVinci Resolve is gonna be completely free with all the features that you know and love in this software. Some fully paid video editing apps that you can check out is LumaFusion and Filmora Go, as those are just top of the line, super easy to use. They're packed full of features and will get your videos looking even more professional. Now I have seen some questions floating out there on how to get your voice recordings or your voice memos into your video editing apps. And all you need to do is select the share option on that voice recording and select the video editing app you wanna import that file into. And once you do that, it'll place right into the corresponding project that you choose. That's something great to know how to do in case you're doing voiceovers or commentary, but you have your audio in another application. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. All the links to all the editors that I talked about are in the description below, so go check that out. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'll see you guys in the next. Peace. Ha <laughs> ha.